All right, let's bring in meteorologist Vivian Rennie now for a look at our forecast. Um, we should enjoy the next few hours if we want to get outside because then after that, it's a little it's, bit of toss-up. Yeah, definitely a toss-up later on this evening. But for the start of the day, picture-perfect conditions out there. A little bit of cloud cover here and there, but really nothing too bad going on. But looking at our satellite radar, it is not hard to tell what we're worried about. We do have this large system sitting just off our coast. This is actually the core low pressure of what brought us all those winds, waves, and some rain just a couple of days ago. But this is headed our way. So it's not just one low pressure in here. It's kind of starting to see a secondary low pressure spin off of it. Those are going to combine and they're going to make their way here to the central coast just over the next couple of hours. We're going to start seeing some cloud cover associated with that actually pretty soon. But the bulk of that rain is going to take a while to get here, waiting all all the way until later on this evening to really start making an impact here on the Central Coast. Scattered shower chances begin in the early afternoon. But before that gets here, it's going to start off with wind. That's how you're going to really tell that the storm system is nearly here, is those gusty conditions are going to start press pressing through the region. Most locations seeing wind gusts up to about 30, 35 miles an hour. That is underneath the threshold for a wind advisory. So that's why we're not seeing wind advisories along our coasts. I wouldn't be surprised if it was extended to there, but we do know we will be seeing those wind gusts upwards of 50 miles an hour in the highest peaks in the interiors of Santa Barbara County. So they do have a wind advisory already in place. It'll stick around through this evening. It just needs to stick around for that first round of rain to make its way through the region. That's when that greatest risk for some gusts is expected at least for those peaks. But for many communities, we're just going to stay kind of breezy for today. Continuing to see those wind gusts up to that about 30 mile an hour threshold in the Paso Robles area, not just for today, but for the next couple of days as as well, starting to calm down, seeing some gusts here and there as we head into Sunday as well. So winds are going to be a concern all because we do have that storm headed our way. So let's time that out right now. Not a whole lot's going on. Nothing on the radar at this point, but fast forwarding to about 4 p.m. That's when we're going to start seeing a few scattered showers being brought in by those southerly winds. The worst of this is going to be well up to the north of us in the Bay Area. So no major concerns there. Continuing to see those scattered showers become more and more widespread by the overnight hours by about 11 p.m. Many locations will be seeing the chance for some heavier bands of rain moving through the region pretty quickly, but just sticking around with scattered showers all the way into the early morning hours on Saturday, even into early Saturday afternoon when those are going to clear out pretty quickly. Our winds are going to shift to come in from the north, and then we're going to start seeing that clear out much more substantially as we head towards Saturday afternoon and the rest of the extended forecast. All said and done, we do have the chance for a little bit more rain here on the central coast up to an inch and a half in the Paso Robles area. I think that might be a little bit on the high side, but still widespread rain is expected less in those interiors, more along our south coast and our northern portions of San Luis Obispo County. So we're going to be keeping a close eye on that, continuing to see temps in the 70s, 70 degrees in Paso Robles, San Luis Obispo and Santa Maria, 67 in Lompoc and 68 degrees in Santa Barbara for today. So we've got rain chances this afternoon into Saturday in the early afternoon hour. So about 24 hours of risk there. Then we're going to start to clear out, warming up for Tuesday and Wednesday. A slight cool down is expected as we head into Thanksgiving, but overall conditions are looking absolutely beautiful into the extended forecast and for the holiday. Neil, back to you. All right.